Connecting Central Texas, this is 25 News. COVID-19 cases still spiking across the state. More than 13,000 new cases confirmed on Thursday. And the testing positivity rate now jumping to 18%. Preliminary data from the state health department suggesting that 75% of those cases were caused by the Delta variant. That big spike in cases and hospitalizations happening in urban areas, but also in rural parts of the state, including here in Central Texas. Now, the unvaccinated are feeling a lot of this, and now some county judges are looking at anything they can to slow the spread yet again. If anyone thought the latest COVID-19 surge was going to spare rural slices of Central Texas, they thought wrong. It's going to get worse, Todd. These, these numbers are going to continue to go up. Uh, this might be the lowest we see our active case count for the next 90 days. In Milam County, there were only six active COVID cases a month ago. Today, 125 and counting. It shouldn't be a political thing. I know it is, but it shouldn't be. This is a health and safety crisis in our county, and the solution is the vaccination. County Judge Steve Young is pushing those vaccine clinics. They have been for months now. But not even 40% of the eligible county population has gotten a jab. And even though it'd likely end up in court in a legal showdown with the state, he's now considering another county mask mandate. I've thought about that. I mean, clearly we're prohibited from doing that at this point, I guess. But uh, I've certainly thought about that. Milam County lost its community hospital a couple years back. Since 05, some 180 rural hospitals have closed coast to coast, many of them in Texas. The enormous spread of the Delta variant, where there isn't easily accessible care, is a stressor. So the case counts are up in all the rural counties, and, uh, you know, they've just gone up exponentially. In the heart of Texas RAC region, which covers Waco but also four surrounding counties, there are 123 COVID hospitalizations right now. Twice as likely to be hospitalized with Delta variant COVID as compared with the previous Alpha or UK variant. So it's faster, it's more dangerous. Doctors all say getting vaccinated can prevent those numbers from climbing even further, a critical step to slowing the latest surge. Now today, the state health department confirming an additional 8,800 new cases. The seven-day average of cases increasing since early July. Meantime, hospitalizations are way, way up. There are more than 8,500 hospitalized across the state with COVID, more than 2,300 up from just a week ago. Let's look at some statewide vaccination numbers. More than 63% of the state is now vaccinated. That includes 15 million people who've had at least one shot and another 12.8 million that have had both shots or are fully vaccinated. This week, more than 225,000 vaccines have been distributed, including almost 2,400 in Bell County and 1,700 in McLennan.